Orlando time now 923 in the many watch this morning more than a third of homeowners ages 65 to 74 are still burdened with monthly mortgage payments that's according to a new report from the Federal Reserve Board so the question is do you use your retirement savings to pay off your mortgage or do you keep it I'm not sure Shakespeare asked this question but to some degree I suppose he did good morning Joe how are I you this, I get asked this question an awful lot we do planning for clients Andrea you know they're getting your retirement yeah. and they they want to rush and pay off their home and I think it goes back to maybe what you learned from your parents you know you want to go into retirement with your house paid for there's an emotional side to it and a financial side and sure. oftentimes they're in conflict I could see that yeah. okay let's talk about this when it comes to paying off the home let's say uh, when you want to keep paying your mortgage what do you advise well if you're if you're still working you know because it's a forced savings account you don't want to necessarily run in and pay off your mortgage if you're still working if you make the mortgage payments make the mortgage payments unless you have a high interest rate but there's no reason for most people today to have a high mortgage because of what interest rates are today. That's true. Unless your credit's been messed up. Okay, uh, you don't have enough money, maybe? Well, if you don't have enough money to pay off the mortgage, you don't want to run off and pay off the mortgage. And what people do is they tap in their 401k. One of the biggest mistakes we, we see. People think, oh, I've got this 401k here, I'm going to retire, I'll cash out my 401k, I'll pay off the mortgage, we'll be in good shape. The problem is, is this taxable income when you take it out of your 401k. Ah. And depending on how much you take out of your 401k, it's going to cost you up to 40% Oh, yikes. Money. Not a good idea in, okay. in many cases. What about money being tied up in other investments? Well, if you're earning a good rate of return on your investments, it's not a bad idea. If you have a 4% mortgage and a 25% tax bracket, it really only costs you about 3%. If you're not earning more than 3% on your investments today, you need a new advisor. Okay. You have other loans. Well, if you have high interest rate loans, credit cards, you know, if you have yeah. a high interest rate credit card, you have this money there, pay off those high interest rate loans before you pay off that mortgage. Okay. And you think inflation might be coming back? Well, your home is is a good inflation hedge. It's in, uh, real estate inherently has always been there. We had the recession back in 2008, 2009, everything went down, but it does come back. And if you think inflation has come back, it's not a bad idea to hang on to your home and have a mortgage on it. Okay. So advice now, when to pay off your mortgage, you've got a lot of cash. If you have a lot of cash, sitting around yeah it's not a bad idea to kill that mortgage but you should have that money invested in fact if you have a lot of cash sitting around you ought to be looking at how you can max out your your 401k that's one of the best things you can do okay you have access to a home equity loan you want to have you want to have available money to you and what we recommend to clients when we do financial planning if you have the home paid off at least line up for a home equity loan so you, so you can have access to cash easily if you have that big expense come along and usually those are low interest too they right are low interest. yes they are far better than putting on a credit card or heaven forbid one of those payday loans. Oh, yikes, okay. yeah. Okay, you can't take advantage of tax savings. Well, if you're not able to uh, to take the deduction for your interest, it may you want to look at that. And you know, uh, where they're talking about increasing the standard deduction next year, doubling it, so many people may not be able to write off the mortgage, but still, if you have a 4% loan, it doesn't make sense. We're going to look back years from now and wish we had more loans at three to four percent that we have today. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay, and this goes back to your, your mental versus, you know, spiritual yeah. connection. You're looking for peace of mind. Well, once again, you want to enter retirement years with peace of mind, but yeah. once, you want, once again, you want to crunch the numbers. When we've done planning in the past, we've also seen where if you don't pay off the mortgage, it can be an extra $250,000 to you at your life expectancy oh, just by being smart with your money. Okay, and you want to set up a comfortable nest egg. Well, you want to maybe leave it for the kids, but, you know, think about yourself first. That's yes. the most important thing. Other Otherwise, you're going to be living in your kid's basement. <laughs> Which would be a reversal of fortune, that's, that's right? That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Joe, always good to see you. Where can people find you? Google me two words, Joe Burt, B-E-R-T. Great advice as always, Thanks, Joe. Andrea. Thank you so much. Great. Stay with us straight ahead on Good Day Orlando.